Hello guys, this is Legend Arma TV, and today we continue our series of everything you need to know about. We are going to talk about Arcana, the battle Iron Fist. As usual, the stats, the gameplay, everything you need to know. Let's roll. Alright, the stats. The attack cap for Arcana is 29,000, which is 1,000 higher than a side. The amount of critical that she has, which means the amount of critical resist that we will need to cap her, still remains the same, it's 140. The critical cap, though, increased by 3. So we will need 158 critical to fully crit cap the uh, this boss. If we go into the quick battle, uh, the amount of power uh, compared to Ace side increase, is increased by additional 1,000. But the amount of technique remains the same. And this is it. That's all the stats. That's all you need to know. Always keep in mind that you need to deal at least 7% to get uh, cores. To, to get uh, additional cores from the battle. So don't forget about that. Gameplay time. Let's go. Alright, Arcana. Let's go. She looks very pretty. Not gonna lie, right? But she actually is a corpse. It's like a it's a volcano spirit hidden in a in a corpse. So don't, please, dude, guys. All right, let's go. Uh, this is a a tricky uh, a first pattern and very tricky one too. Uh, it seems like uh, she does only one hand, but she does two of them with her weapons. So watch out for that. This pattern, after that. That she just did twice. Let's rewatch them again. One swing, and then she sends a shockwave uh, straight. So uh, watch out for that shockwave. Watch out for these uh, for these attacks. The tricky double hit again. Uh, this uh, is uh, just two hits, and this one is an anti-range. Uh, so whenever you are uh, too far away from her, she uh, is going to leap towards you uh, with a third hit. Uh, this pattern right over here, after after this anti-range, it does one hit. This one. She does two hits, and then after a short delay, she does a slam. Watch out for that slam. It's uh, you know it can be tricky because she does it with a delay. Once Arcana hits nine bars she will start flashing blue. Now, what does that mean? There are two different scenarios for this. One of them, she flashes blue and attacks um, attacks you or your team members, party, party members. Or she can flash blue and do nothing. Whenever she attacks, prepares for an attack, with a, with a blue flash of light, it means, like, right over here, where she just did it. Right here. If you stand close to her uh, during any of the attacks that she does with a blue flash, uh, she is gonna mark you and give you a stack of heat. Now, the heat stacks, why are they there? There is a hidden title in Arcana, uh, which allows you to undress her, to get a fashion police title. But also, these uh, heat stacks, they increase your damage that you're going to do to Arcana. And that heat, uh, rupture heat um, stacks can go up to three. So whenever she continuously attacks with the, you know, with the blue stuff, and you continue being in melee, you're going to uh, get these stacks right over here. You can see it. Rupture uh, heat level one. It will increase your damage uh, to Arcana drastically. So try to be close to her as possible and um, gain these stacks to deal more damage. Now let's roll back a little bit here. This particular pattern, uh, just a couple of hits, right? Watch out for the third hit that she does um, in this sequence because it's like it's super fast after it. But then she leaps a little bit and sends a big shockwave. Now, if you are far away, just like I am, this also has an anti-range. So the uh, orange circle is going to spawn underneath you and explode. So watch out for that. 
it can be it can be a very very tricky uh, pattern. You might get caught there. This pretty much is an anti range, so she flashes red. Does one hit, another hit, and then leaps in the air and crashes down, sending a massive shockwave that covers the whole arena. So, just dodge and block the first two initial hits, and whenever she... Just time well when she's gonna crash, and be ready to, you know, to negate uh, that shockwave. Because it, it, it does quite some damage. Uh, also uh, worth mentioning is that whenever Arcana hits nine bars, she corrupts uh, the springs. So the water part around the arena turns green. Now that is very, very dangerous. Don't lure Arcana into the water and don't stay in the water because you continuously gonna receive damage from the corrupted springs and it's flat three to 400 damage per second so you're gonna die there very quickly, so watch out for that. You can even kill uh, very gear players if they stand there too long. <clears throat> so watch out, watch out, watch out. Imagine you're fighting, I don't know, Brandy Wharton. This, right here, she flashed blue but didn't do anything. This is where, if you will attack her during this, uh, you know, during this pattern, uh, you're gonna release all your stacks of Heat Rupture, and flinch her, uh, destroying one of the parts of her uh, clothes. After Arcana hits seven bars, she goes into the stance. The uh, the springs uh, cleanse. Uh, you can no longer uh, be damaged by them, so you can chill. She, after a little delay, she leaps into the air, chooses one of the targets, and then crashes down. If she crashes down on the um, any of the players, she will. Place them in the torture. Now, Arcana's torture chamber is a little mini game. Uh, so, one of the players that got caught, they're gonna be in the middle, and this whole circle around in the middle is gonna be covered by the uh, by the chamber. What you want to do if you are not the target that's been sent to the torture? You want to attack continuously attack uh, the walls. And destroy the bar, uh, the HP bar of the walls, to free your uh, party member from this thing right over here. If you are the person that got caught, you just mash the E button. Just uh, just spam the hell out of E button to get, uh, you know, to to get free from this thing. Now you can't escape uh, the torture chamber alone. No matter how much you mash the E button, you also have to rely on the damage that your party is doing to the uh, uh, to the walls. So once the walls HP drops to zero, before you get uh, squished, um, just keep it up, keep keep doing, uh, mashing the E button, and uh, as you know, if you if you were not the target for the chamber, just keep attacking the walls to free your uh, team member. After it's done, if it's done correctly, she gets temporarily stunned, so you can freely DPS her. She then goes into the stand, so as you can see, this is a massive, massive uh, sandbag, where you can just freely DPS her all you want. Uh, as far as it goes for the patterns, uh, it, that's pretty much it. Uh, she just uh, repeats all the, uh, all the patterns in the RNG sequence, right there, the slam again. And that's about it. At four bars, at four bars, regardless of what you do, Arcana goes into a mini game. You can attack her during this cutscene where uh, that, that you're watching right now. Then she uh, disappears, and the camera goes into like an arcade. This mini game is all about uh, surviving and finding a perfect spot to hide from the attacks of Arcana. Now, the combat is disabled. All you can do is sprint and kick. Like, your left click is only going to be kicks. You can't use any abilities, you can't use anything. N not even HP potions. So what do you do? I highly recommend to stand right over here, where I am, or to the similar uh, places uh, during uh, near these little circles right there, to ensure that whenever she sends these shockwaves right here, he ain't going to get hit. 
As you can see, I'm just standing here casually, not receiving any damage. Once she stops slamming her big gun, start moving. If she's gonna, if she's gonna uh, target you, uh, you're gonna take some really, really nasty hits. So whenever you're not the target, get to the middle and start kicking her. Uh, the amount of kicks that you have to do uh, depends on how many players are in the party. So usually if it's four people, uh, I think you need to do at least like eight kicks or something like that to be able to uh, to break Arcana out of the minigame and weaken her. Now, usually if the phase doesn't end, if you don't kick her enough, before she starts slamming her, uh, her pillar, her weapon, again, uh, go away. Run away, run away to this place. Uh, place where I showed you so you can hide from them wait for the uh, final shockwave that she's gonna send after she leaps in the air you're gonna get a guaranteed hit there unfortunately there's nothing you can do about it right over here this one the shockwave you'll take it just go and finish the job the indication that you pass the mini game successfully uh, will be this uh, notification that Arcana's defense is weakened so what th does it mean Arcana starts receiving, um, I'm not quite sure, I think it's 20% more damage. So she starts dying way quicker than before. And uh, at one bar, she returns back to the heat uh, stacks um, mechanic. So she starts do, uh, get, uh, receiving even more damage after that. So... After the minigame, just get to the one bar, she does it again. Usually, you won't really have a lot of opportunities to use the heat stacks to deal more damage because it's it's going to be only one bar left and she's going to take increased damage there and just finish her off to secure your victory arcana is a very fun boss i'm not gonna lie um, the bgm especially of arcana is amazing i love it and i got myself a loot right there a new weapon for uh, arisha Get a like if you think that this uh, weapon suits Arisha well. We're gonna be a true gangster here. With this kind of weaponry. For sure. Alright guys, this is it for today. That's all you need to know about Arcana, The Iron Fist. Please join Discord. Uh, leave comments if you have any uh, uh, additional questions. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I love it. And I love you all. And next time, we're going to talk about Rupakitus, the big, big fish. The battle called Distorted Truth. Have a great day. I love you. Thanks for watching. Later.